welcome to this video of the implementation of the uh, analysis of variables ANOVA in Microsoft Excel. So, uh, analysis of variables is analysis uh, which aim of uh, seeing if whether or not a mean uh, is different between two or more groups of individuals. So, in this tutorial, we have uh, we have data on uh, three uh, of means of student in uh, three classes uh, each sample have uh, L6 uh, student and the aim is to uh, see if whether or not is uh, the, the mean uh, is difference uh, among classes so uh, to see if whether or not statistically uh, the classes have uh, the same level or, or the level are different. So to run uh, analysis of variance, you need to go in data and use uh, data analysis tool pack in order to uh, make uh, an overtest. So if this data analysis tool pack is not yet appearing in your Microsoft Excel, just go in file, file, go in option, and when we're in the option, click on Add Ins. Click on Add In and uh, then click on Go. And when you're in Go, you just uh, select this Analysis tool pack, select and click on OK. And you will see that this analysis tool pack will appear in your Microsoft Excel. So click on double click on your analysis tool pack. After that, select the ANOVA simple factor. So the one way ANOVA, so, uh, when you select, you double click on the one uh, ANOVA simple pack. And the uh, second step is to uh, input the range of your data. So you click on this arrow and select, uh, select your uh, data. Then click on the arrow and uh, you must specify column or rows if your, your data is in a row format as mine or click on, uh, on column for, uh, my data is in column uh, format so you can click on row if your data is uh, in row format so uh, you can uh, you must select as here the label in the first row because in my uh, data uh, in the first row is the label of my uh, different data so you can also select the output range of uh, the result of an over test or create a new worksheet or a new workbook so i will select create create a new workbook and then click on ok and you can see that uh, our results have been generated. So here are our result. We have uh, the result of our single factor ANOVA. We have uh, count 86 uh, sample for each uh, classroom. We have the sum of uh, different variables, the average of uh, are in our different classes and seeming and uh, we can notice that uh, numerically uh, we can uh, notice that uh, the mean are very close but we will see uh, if uh, according to uh, statistical tests our mean are different in different groups we have a sum of uh, square of uh, our variable between and within group we have the degree of freedom have uh, feature statistic and the p value so the p value is the uh, value that we use in order to take a, a result a decision in our test the normal hypothesis of uh, ANOVA test is uh, 40 in mean the 
different mean in, uh, of, of classes. So uh, at the p value is uh, more than five percent, we can not we we uh, will just accept null hypothesis, which is the equality of uh, our means in different classes. So we cannot say we can say that our mean uh, different classes have the same level. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on uh, one way and over in Microsoft Excel. We hope it has very well helped you understand how to understand and look at the one way and over test as well as the implementation in Microsoft Excel.